The question is, if you mostly do one-to-one -one services, how does the sales page for the one-to-one -one service differ from the main page of your website? Great. So the main page of your website is called a home page, and the home page is um, just a first impression and helping people go figure out where to go next. It's kind of like when you go to a mall and um, you know there's a when you first enter the mall, they have like a directory like, okay, if you're looking for this uh, you know, clothing type of departments. These are our clothing stores and you know, it's in this part of the mall. If you're looking for food, here's the food court, you know, things like that. So your homepage is really more of a, where do I go next? And so um, if I want to, I'll, I'll show you my, you know, the example of my homepage. Um, and if anybody else here wants to give us an example of your homepage, feel free. So my homepage is basically, this is basically what I do. And then, um, you know, you can get a, get a feeling of my energy uh, by watching a one minute video of me. And then it's like, hey, what do you want to explore? Here, here, it's very simple. I only have two choices for you. And if you don't like those choices, you can of course come up here and here's like the mall directory for where you want to go, you know? So that's the difference between the homepage and a one-on-one and -on -one services offer page, your sales page. The one-on-one -on -one page is like, all right, um, you know, now that you're interested in working with me one to one, you need to understand that it's for this type of person. And this is if you're working with me one on one, this is the journey, et cetera. And you might say, don't I describe that on my homepage too? You could, but I, I really encourage the homepage to be more think of the homepage more as let me feel your energy for a moment before I, you know, like, well, let's keep using the mall example, right? When you enter the mall, they usually have some kind of like, something hanging from the very tall ceiling. Like it just, you feel the energy of the mall, you know, before you start going into a specific store. It's kind of like that. So you don't go into the mall and, and, and there's no specific store that's like, well, sometimes they do like Macy's or whatever. Does Macy's still exist <laughs> with Amazon these days? I don't know. But um, so it's more, the homepage is more of an energy. Feel my energy with a one minute video or two minute video. And then these are the two things or the three things that I, that I work with three issues I work with, two issues I work with, uh, two types of people I work with. I mean, you could basically a quick direction for where to go. Do I go turn left or do I turn right? Or do I go straight? Three, three branches, where do I go? There you go. If I turn right, okay, now we're, we're talking about this particular issue I work with. So um, website structure is uh, an art and a skill in and of its own. I talk a lot more about website structure in my SEO class. So if you're interested in like that kind of stuff, you can go into it. But if you simply uh, wanna keep it real, real simple, there's also the possibility of a one-page website. You could have a one-page website where, you know, at the top, they feel your energy with a quick video or one quick statement of what you do. And then they keep scrolling down. And now you're talking about, okay, do you wanna work with me one-to-one? -one? Cause that's the only thing I offer. The only thing I offer is one-to-one. -one. And so it's like quick energy, one-to-one -one offer, and then the sales page and your homepage is one. So you could do it that way as well. So let me know if this helps. All right, and Emily is gonna give us a quick example here on screen of the homepage, energy feel. Yeah, totally. And this is a great example because you come here, there, you feel the energy from the background, the image, the style, you know, she has a logo. That's really cool. I don't have a logo, but you know, Emily does. Congratulations. And then, um, you know, just a, just a bit, uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit to read, you know, personally, I like bigger fonts, but you know, it's okay. Your, your ideal client might, might be fine with that and join newsletter. So yeah, that's great. And then um, a further question here from Pam is the diff what is the difference between a website page about the service and a sales page you might share on social? Same thing. There's no difference. A sales page is essentially a page that sells something specific. So a sales page could be selling a specific service or it could be selling a specific product. And that's what you would share on social media. Of course, on social media, you could share anything you want. You could share your homepage, you could share your blog post, you could share your videos page, you could share your sales page uh, as, as, as- But it's all the same page. I don't need a separate thing is basically what I'm asking. A sales page, uh, is specifically when they're ready to buy. So when, when someone is ready to buy from you and they just need some confirmation, 
that this is the kind of thing. So in other words, I don't believe that sales pages, I don't, the way my way, the way I think about websites, I don't think sales pages should be trying to convince somebody who is cold to you to go, I don't know who you are, Pam, but um, you have to convince me on this one page that I should, you should convince me right now that, that I need to buy from you. That's a really hard, and of course, this is where pressure sales come in and, and hype and, and scarcity and all that stuff that most of us don't like to use. But instead, I like to warm people up with energy, with content. Maybe your about page will warm people up too. Your about page isn't trying to sell anything except your energy. You're not really selling it. You're just sharing, being open and being truth, truthful and open-hearted connection. But as they go through your website, then they're like, oh, I like this person. I like their energy. By the time they land on your sales page, they're, they're warm. You know, yeah, hopefully the sales page isn't the very first place, a cold person. Now, the exception is if someone has been recommended to you. Oh, I've heard about you, Pam. Oh, my friend raves about you. And then you send them your sales page and they're, they're already warm, ready to buy. So the sales page is really meant for, let me just, I already like you. You don't have to try to like make me like you. I already like you. I, and I already ready to buy from you pretty much. I mean, like maybe 50% of the way there the buying from you. You just have to tell me what I'm getting. How much is it? How much is it? Is it the right product for me? You know, so hope that helps. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome.